I'm very proud to announce that the Commission and the High Representative today we have adopted a joint proposal for a European maritime security strategy. This is a very important step towards our ambition to strengthen the security of our seas and oceans. This is a prime objective for the European Union. Our citizens expect effective responses to the protection of ports and offshore installations. They expect securing our seaborne trade, addressing potential threats from criminal activities at sea or possible disputes of maritime boundaries. Today it is the first time that the European Union is developing a holistic strategy of this kind which will help foster blue growth and the creation of new jobs in the maritime sector. We are proposing something new, a framework at European level through which member state authorities, civilian and military, and European agencies would work much closer than today. With limited resources at our hand, we need to do better with less. We are, however, living in a more and more complex world and we have to face threats and, such as armed conflicts, terrorism, drug smuggling, proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, piracy attacks and cross-border crime. These threats cannot be addressed by any single actor or nation. What we need is a strategic cross-sectoral approach and a coordinated response to maritime security threats. Let me give you an example. We all know how the conflicts in Syria or Libya have accelerated the already difficult situation with the influx of irregular immigrants in the Mediterranean. What we need to avoid is tragic events such as the ones around the island of Lampedusa, where many lives were lost. So today's proposal is a first step to organize a European coordinated response to such threats in the maritime area. To this end, we have identified 23 different actions for enhanced cooperation. These elements will aim at making the best use of existing resources, promote effective and credible partnerships with our neighbors, and enhance solidarity among member states. We encourage now the Greek presidency and the member states to further elaborate these proposals and to put them into action.